Today we're going to be doing a quick demo of Dropbox for Business to OneDrive for Business. So we're here at the login page for CloudFuse. So we're going to log in. On this screen, um, you're presented with the option to select which clouds you want to add to CloudFuse for your migrations. So we're going to select Dropbox for Business. This is obviously a business migration, um, so when you're logging in, you're going to be using your admin uh, login credentials for uh, both the source and destination clouds. We're authenticating into Dropbox. And as this uh, authenticates, Dropbox will now be connected to the CloudFuse software. As you can see, Dropbox has been added to CloudFuse, so you can confirm. Now we're going to add OneDrive for Business to CloudFuse. And again, you're going to be authenticating into OneDrive for Business with your admin credentials. All right, and once we come out of this, uh, we're going to see that you'll have both Dropbox for Business and OneDrive for Business added into CloudFuse, which is the first step. Excellent, we can see that right there. Now we're going to go in and we're going to initiate a, um, a migration. And you're presented with our setup wizard or migration setup wizard here. So first you're going to select your source, which in this case is going to be Dropbox for Business, and your destination, which is going to be OneDrive for Business. You're going to click Next. Now you're going to be presented with the option to select your domains. Uh, in the cases of MSPs and enterprises, there may be several domains in a single admin account. Um, all the domains will be presented for you to select from. And you also have the option to auto map, which we recommend for all of our uh, migrations, for business migrations. And it's going to map the users from your source to the users in your destination. For the purpose of this demo, oh, you also have the opportunity to upload, um, especially for larger uh, migrations, the ability to upload your users uh, by CSV. For the purpose of this demo, we're going to select just two users to migrate. So we selected Lewis and Nelson. Now we're going to hit Next. Next step is um, you have the option to name your batches. So especially for larger business migrations, um, if you're going to be doing you know hundreds or thousands of users uh, in a migration, you're, you, know, you typically want to batch them in 50, 100, 500 user quantities. So you can name the job name. Uh, in this case, we named it demo job. Um, you also have the opportunity to select if it's a initial or one-time migration or if you're going to be running a uh, delta migration after the initial bulk migration. Destination pathway, if you don't enter anything, it'll migrate into the root folder. Uh, however, you do have the option to rename the folders if you like. And for additional notifications, uh, you could set up as many users as you like to be notified of uh, the migration progress as is being made. So if you're working in a team environment where the team needs to be notified, you can enter all of the team emails and they'll all receive notifications as the progress is being made on the migration. Um, especially when you're doing uh, migrations into OneDrive for business, there's certain special characters that are not uh, accepted by OneDrive. So we replace those, you can either replace those characters with an underscore or a hyphen. It will default a hyphen if you don't select anything. Then you hit next. Here's just a preview screen. It'll show you your one, you know, you're running a one-time job. Here's the job name, uh, destination pathways root. You know, your source and your destination clouds are, are Dropbox for business and OneDrive for business. Uh, you have additional notifications going to support at cloudfuse.com. And there's uh, two migration pairs, and here's the the pairs or the people that are being migrated. Then you're just going to click Start Migration. From here you're presented with uh, the reporting screen or the migration reporting screen. Um, you can see the status is currently in progress because we just initiated this migration. You have uh, drill down capabilities in this report so you can see each user that's being migrated and the progress that's being made against the user's um, files. 
there currently isn't any progress because we have to refresh the screen here to get an update. And now you can see that Nelson's files are processed and Lewis's files are in process. Here's a list of all the files that I've already processed for, uh, for Lewis. And if you wanted to, when all of the uh, migrations are complete, um, you can also uh, download the report into a CSV file as well um, to reconcile all of the files that were migrated, if that's uh, you know, your preference. That takes us to the end of our demo. That was quick and easy. Uh, CloudFuse is a, uh, has a very simple front end with a very powerful back end designed for uh, businesses, you know, small, medium sized businesses, uh, MSPs, small and large, and enterprises of any size. Uh, we appreciate you sharing some portion of your day with us here, and we hope you have a wonderful rest of it.